I like a lot of coffee. I brew eight to ten cups every morning. People who have left Gävle and come back here, when they are getting off the train, for example, and feel the smell of Gävle, it's, oh, I'm home. This is the nice smell we always have when we are roasting coffee. It all started here in Gävle in 1853. Victor Theodor Engvall had a small shop here in the harbor where he was selling green coffee. Today we have 40% of the Swedish market. The important thing for us is that the quality of the green coffee is real high quality. If you use lower qualities of coffee, you tend to get burnt characters. So what we do is we aim to really select the best beans and create blends with a well-balanced flavor and a good aftertaste. Still today, if you go to the coffee origin countries, for an example in Brazil, you can ask for the Engval quality and a lot of people there growing coffee knows what the Engval quality is and that is really the best thing you can get. The quality combined with the roasting process, that is for me a guarantee that the taste of Yvala is, is rich and not bitter. Three years ago, we got introduced to Javali. We had a team go to Sweden and learn the way the Swedish make the coffee and brought that back to the United States. They have that sense of, you know, ownership in that product. Each and every bag is inspected. Each and every bag that they send out the door has their name to it. The roasting process that we use for Javali is a slow roast process. That'll allow the mild, smooth flavor to develop fully. Then we quickly cool the beans. This will allow that flavor to be locked in. And then we transfer the beans using a conveyor belt to avoid breakage. We are gonna put about seven grams of coffee into a cup, pour boiling hot water on top of that. And after five minutes, we're gonna taste the coffee. It's like wine tasting. You wanna aspirate it up into your sinus cavity and then let the coffee roll over your tongue. All the bean types that we use have unique flavors. For instance, from Ethiopia, it has a lot of different dynamic flavor profiles coming out of there, some slight chocolate notes. So there is consistency that we look for from each of the bean types to keep the blend of Javalia consistent. Victor Engwall had very high standards for his products. We are trying to uphold that when we evaluate the coffees and produce the coffees for our customers. 150 years is a long time making coffee. The Swedish took a lot of pride in what they have, then they brought that to here, and we want to maintain that 150 years plus of pride here in the United States. Coffee matters to a lot of people. Many people start their day with a cup of coffee and end their day with a cup of coffee. Coffee is life. <laughs> When it comes to drinking a cup of Javali, I think that the most important is to capture the moment when you take the cup of coffee, because it is something that gives you added value to life. I think coffee brings us together. Normally when we drink coffee, we are together with a friend or with family. And uh, we like the coffee as much as we like interacting with our friends. Uh, so I think that is why coffee matters. I take my coffee with a little bit of milk. How do you take yours? Comment below. If you like the rich, never bitter taste of Javalia coffee, like us on Facebook.